And the latest on the investigation into a plane crash in a Lubbock neighborhood. But we begin, though, with team coverage of the freezing weather that we're all waking up to, some dangerous driving conditions. Lubbock ISD and Friendship have called off classes today. Cooper is just doing online learning. We also have some power outages across the city as well. Let's start with Robert Gautreau and a look outside. Robert, what are you seeing out there? Well, it's changing a little bit. We've had some sleet out here, but it's been it's it's actually calmed down for the moment. I'm at the South Loop near the Science Spectrum in the National Weather Service, and I'd say it's getting dendritic. What does that mean? Well, that means that the ice is not necessarily snowflake shape, but it's taking on that crystallized kind of shape. And so it's turned less from sleet into more of that. Now, yeah, I know there have been some mixed snowflakes across the region, probably farther north as well. I think Bobby had mentioned uh, some snow potentially falling out there. He'd also mentioned that just the wind chill factor. I mean, it's cold. It's in the mid 20s, but the wind blowing certainly makes it feel like the single digits. And so as far as the roads, you can see volume out there. It's certainly more than there was an hour ago or so. So we're going to get an update on that here in the next 30 minutes again. But yeah, still some volume out there. Definitely need to take it slow for the time being. I'll be back here in about 30 minutes. Back to you all. And that is how we are beginning our morning. With team coverage of this freezing weather, we knew it was coming. Some mm -hmm. dangerous driving conditions. There are school closures. Lubbock ISD and Friendship, no classes today. Lubbock Cooper, no in-person classes, but will still do remote learning. There are also some power outages across the city for LPNL. Luckily, those are now down to just uh, several dozen. But let's go ahead and start with Robert Gotro outside. Robert, what does it look like? Well, uh, James is right. We knew it was coming, so it didn't. It came. It's not like it came without warning, or we caught us by surprise. We knew it was going to be messy here the beginning of the week, and so far it certainly has been. And it's worse than yesterday. If you can see behind me, there is some sleet across the area, and that's the funny thing too, because temperatures are in the 20s. So you'd say, hey, why isn't it snowing? Well. There's a warm layer way up in the atmosphere, about 8,000 feet, kind of close to where the snow is actually forming anyway. And so what happens is it's melting, and as it melts, it's falling through a very, very thick layer of cold air, and that's allowing it to refreeze again. So we're getting, I mean, there might be a snowflake mixed in here, and from what I can see, it's mainly, one, it's let up, and two, it's uh, it's really, really more sleet than anything. In fact, there was even some freezing rain earlier, so you got a lot of icy windshields this morning. We're just south of the loop. We're at the Science Spectrum. The National Weather Service office is here as well. And so there is volume here on the roads, and you can see cars going by, certainly more than there were maybe an hour, hour and a half ago, and they're all taking it slow. I saw a snow plow pass uh, earlier as well and so I mean it's not like there's a lot of snow to plow but it is pushing some of the sleet to the side so if you're not used to driving in this weather stay home if you have to go obviously drive very slowly we'll have another update on what we expect uh, to happen and what the loop looks like coming up in about 30 minutes back to y'all yeah. we begin of course with the freezing weather out there some dangerous driving conditions and it's already caused some school cancellations. Lubbock ISD and Friendship have canceled classes. Cooper is just doing online learning. Some people still going without power this morning as crews work to get that restored for everyone. But let's start with Robert Gotro. He's on out in the roadways this morning and taking a look outside. Robert? Yeah, the conditions this morning are worse than yesterday. And you're probably aware of all the accidents that accumulated yesterday with uh, with the with the ice that fall, that fell in this morning we got a lot of sleet we uh, saw some freezing rain we didn't see so much snow i mean there were a few snowflakes here and there in fact yesterday i was told that uh, from the well the climate data shows that we actually had we beat the record snowfall for yesterday, which was a trace, but set back in 1918. So there's something for you. But you can see out on the road, yeah, definitely are some some cars out there, and some of them moving faster than others. But what you see right now, most cars are moving slow, mostly below the speed limit. Uh, I've seen a few uh, snow plows out there. Not that there's much snow to plow necessarily, but at least trying to move some of the sleet out of the way. The good news is that at least in Lubbock, it has let up, and really I 
don't sense anything really falling now at the moment. And Bobby's been showing the radar too, and you can see a lot, probably saw a lot of it has moved off to the east. But so hopefully, at least for our, the commute's sake, we won't see anything else falling from the sky, but it will remain cold and likely will not get above freezing today. And so it's just gonna, it's gonna be a tough commute, likely tougher than yesterday. So certainly if you don't have experience driving on these types of roads, then it's best to stay home. But if you do, obviously lights on, drive slowly, give yourself ample stop time and use your turn signals. Let people know you want to get in front of them and everyone can drive more safely. We'll have another update on the roads and the traffic and what the weather is like out here coming up soon in just a little bit. I'm meteorologist Robert Gotro. Back to you all in the studio. And another icy morning out there, worse than it was yesterday. And that is how we begin the morning with our team coverage. This freezing weather, we knew it was coming, but still dangerous driving conditions, leading some school closures. The latest here, Texas Tech has closed campus for the day. South Plains College has canceled classes. We also have a handful of power outages still across the country. There are crew members working to get those restored. Now let's start with Robert out on the streets. Robert, what do you see outside? Yeah, it's uh, well, for one, it's calmed down a little bit. I mean, there's still some very, very light fro I mean, tiny microscopic kind of crystals floating throughout the air. And so you can see, though, what's on the ground is a lot of sleet. Despite the temperature being in the 20s, there's not really any snowfall, at least not here in Lubbock anyway. And so we've been seeing the frozen rain, the freezing rain, I should say, and the sleet falling. And so it's accumulated. And not to mention, you know, what we've had yesterday, really haven't had a chance to thaw really that much. And so it's likely we're not going to see a good chance to thaw this afternoon either. I mean, I think we're going to remain below freezing for much of the day. And the chance for precipitation does continue, but... What we're seeing now is just still cloudy skies. The sun is up now, so hopefully we can get a little bit of warming here. But again, I don't know how how much we're going to actually be able to see some warming temperatures here to at least melt some of this. And so there's white everywhere. There's ice everywhere. There are cars on the road, and there have been more so each hour. There have been more, a little bit more volume on the road. And uh, just looking at it, it looks clearer from, well, what I drove through this morning, which was just pure white. We know I have seen some snow plows moving through across the area. Again, not really plowing snow, but plowing the sleet off and stuff to the side. So some cars moving a little quicker than others. Seems like the tiny cars are the ones moving a little quicker than others. But there is volume moving. I haven't, at least from our perspective, haven't seen... We've seen everyone pretty much been driving safely. Lights are on, and so we don't expect... Uh, at least for the next, at least for the rest of your commutes, really don't expect too much else to fall out. But we're going to have to be watching this. The beginning of this week is going to be dicey, but we finally do see some relief later in the week, and that's where Bobby falls. And I'll be back here in about 30 minutes to see how it looks outside. Until then, back to y'all. We begin this morning, though, with team coverage of the freezing weather, some dangerous driving conditions. A number of basically everything's closed. All the schools in Lubbock, if you go to school here, they're pretty much closed. We'll get to that here in a moment. There are still some online earning oppor learning opportunities, though. And a handful of power outages in west and southwest of Lubbock. Crews still working to get restored. But let's start out on the roadways with Robert Gotro. He's taking a look outside. Robert? Yeah, we're here on the south loop near the, uh, well, the National Weather Service, the Science Spectrum, and we've been seeing a lot of cars here, and this is probably, I would say, the most cars I've seen so far this morning as uh, they're making their way across, some driving faster than others, but generally everybody driving pretty slowly. It's all about ice. Uh, yesterday, yeah, there were some icy conditions. Last night, there were some icy conditions. Really not so much snow here in Lubbock, but what we've had is that freezing rain and we've had the sleet. It's because there's a warm layer probably about 8,000 feet up, which is arguably kind of where snow is forming. But what happens is it falls through that warm layer, it melts, it turns into rain, and then it falls back through a cold layer, a freezing layer. And so what we get is not a nice pretty slow snowflake, but what we get instead are, well, just sleet, basically frozen little pellets of water, and not to mention super cooled rain, which falls and freezes on everything. So your windshield has probably got frozen ice on it, or has ice on it this morning. Ice is already frozen. But we also see, yeah, lots of ice on the roadways. Um, and it seems like, yeah, a lot of people still out there, still driving pretty slowly. Lights are on. Uh, I notice turn signals, so again, that's important too. Give yourself some space. Let people know you want to get in their lane, but 
yeah, just drive slowly. If you don't have experience driving in this type of weather, stay home. But otherwise, sometimes we got to deal with this out here in Lubbock, Texas. So drive slowly. Again, this ice is likely not going to melt as it's going to stay below freezing throughout the day. Bobby can tell you all about that. We're not quite through this yet. The first half of the week we mentioned was going to be dicey, and that's the way it's turning out so far. But we do have finally some nice weather toward the weekend. Bobby's got that coming up. Back to you all.